Thank you. It is so fun to be back here in the United Center. And as you guys know, a lot of good stuff has happened in this building, especially in the 90s. You young people, Google Michael Jordan and you can read all about it, okay? So there was an amazing vibe in this building back in those days. And I feel that same winning spirit here tonight. So the last time I was in a packed basketball arena was in Paris, France. Nine days ago, some of the best players on earth, 12 incredible American men, came together to win Olympic gold. And the next night, I was back in that same building watching 12 more of the best players on earth. Our incredible American women do the same thing. And I cannot think of a better metaphor for what this country is all about than the way Team USA came together at the Olympics. We had players from across our wonderful country, players who have trained and fought relentlessly, shed tears trying to beat one another throughout their careers, joining forces to wear the red, white, and blue. And when we won, the American flag raised to the rafters, the national anthem playing, Gold medals draped around the necks of our players whose hands were held over their hearts. It was the proudest moment of my life. Thank you. Thank you. Now, I, I could never have imagined that a few days later I would receive an invitation to step into a different kind of arena. And so here I am. I know, I know very well that speaking out about politics these days comes with risks. I can see the shut up and whistle tweets being fired off as we speak. But I also knew as soon as I was asked that it was too important as an American citizen not to speak up in an election of this magnitude. The reason I said yes to speaking here tonight is that as a coach and former player, as a husband, a son, a father, even a grandfather, and as an American, I believe in a certain kind of leadership. I believe that leaders must display dignity. I believe that leaders must tell the truth. I believe that leaders should be able to laugh at themselves. I believe leaders must care for and love the people they are leading. I believe leaders must possess knowledge and expertise, but with the full awareness that none of us has all the answers. And in fact, some of the best answers often come from members of the team. And if you look for those qualities in your friends or your boss or an employee or your child's teacher or your mayor, then shouldn't you want those same qualities in your president? And when you think about it that way, this is no contest. With Kamala Harris and Tim Walls, I see all those qualities. They have devoted their lives to serving other people. Whether Vice President Harris was defending her community in the courtroom or Governor Walls was inspiring the next generation in the classroom or on the field, for that matter. By the way, coach to coach, that guy's awesome. Although, I have to say, Coach Walls, way too much reliance on the Blitz in 99 against Mankato East. You had a strong defensive line. I would have played more press coverage with your corners and then dropped the safeties into a Tampa 2. That's just me. Sorry. I wanted you to know how I feel every day of the NBA season. All right. But listen, the joy, the compassion, the commitment to our country that we saw at the Olympics, that is what Kamala Harris and Tim Walls have. 
and it is what our country needs. Leadership, real leadership, not the kind that seeks to divide us, but the kind that recognizes and celebrates our common purpose. Think about what our team achieved with 12 Americans in Paris, putting aside rivalries to represent our country. Now imagine what we could do with all 330 million of us playing on the same team. Not as, not as Democrats, not as Republicans, not as Libertarians, but as Americans who know the greatness of this nation doesn't come from any one of us, but from each of us doing our part to build a more perfect union. That vision is what this campaign is all about. It's why I'm here tonight. And it's why I'll be getting out every day to help people get out and vote on November 5th and elect Kamala Harris and Tim Walz as the next President and Vice President of the United States. And, and after the results are tallied that night, we can, in the words of the great Steph Curry, we can tell Donald Trump, night, night. Thank you.